Hi, in a previous video I showed you how to set up a personal website using Google Sites in just a matter of minutes. Now I'm going to show you how to add your own personal domain name to your website. So rather than have a URL that's something like this, you could have your own personal URL. There are a lot of companies that you can buy domain names from. GoDaddy's um, a, a large, reputable one that lots of people have heard of and I've heard great things about. When I first purchased mine a couple years ago for my personal website, I found that Lucky Register had the best prices at the time, so I went with them. So GoDaddy or any place is going to give you the similar type of things. They're going to give you a place where you first start by seeing if the domain name you want is even available. I recommend that you first check to see if your first and last name is available. In this case, I've already purchased AllisonLowenthal.com for my wife, but just to show you how this works, if I wanted to search for DarcyLowenthal.com, I could hit search and it would let me know that it's available and I could purchase it. You also note that if I went with a .info or even a .us I could even get a web do domain a lot cheaper but in this case I want to spend the extra couple dollars to get the .com. Now when you go through this price Lucky Register and I'm sure GoDaddy and the others are like it they will try to sell you in all kinds of other options they'll try to tell you let's get you the .net and the .com for a low price of fifteen dollars let's say or or they'll give you all kinds of other options I typically don't bother with those I just want to buy the domain and be done with it I personally like to buy my domain for usually more than a year so I'm not renewing it every year so I tend to you know spend about thirty dollars and buy it for three years at a time now I need to tell Google Sites that I want to use AllisonLawful.com so I'm going to go to more Manage site. Now we're going to go down here under general to web address. So now I'm going to type in AllisonLowenthal.com and hit add. Okay, there it is. The next step is I'm going to verify my account with Google so I can use the web tools down the road if I want. I'm going to go to more and then manage site. If I scroll down, I will see this area here for Google Webmaster Tools. So I can click on, if I want to learn more about it, I can click here and learn more about the Google Tools. But right now I'm going to right click and open this and here it is, I already have it available. So I know I'm going to need my Google Sites domain name. So I'm just going to copy that and that's what goes all the way through the name, Allison Lowenthal. If you're not sure, you can always just go back once right click copy it and go back to where you are okay so now I'm gonna to go to the webmaster tools and if you don't see your site which is likely the case click add a site and copy in the URL I'm gonna hit continue here I can start going through and reading about the different processes so this is the recommended method I'm gonna actually click on alternate methods and I'm gonna use this option to add a meta tag to your sites home page. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to my Google Sites and I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to go back and I'm going to click here verify now. And there it says it's been verified. So I can hit continue. So then, whether you're using Lucky Register or another site, once you've purchased your domain name, you can log in. So once I'm logged in, I'm going to click on Domains. And in this case, I have multiple ones, but the one I'm interested in is AllisonLowenthal.com, so I'm going to click on Launch. And if you're using GoDaddy or another service, while it's likely that they'll have customer support that can help you do this, what you're basically looking for is something with a DNS manager and so in this case I'm going to hit launch and I'm going to scroll down if I was using some of these others let's say for a different type of personal website not using Google Sites I might need to adjust some of these but in this case I'm only interested in www so I'm going to type in ghs.google.com and I'm going to hit quick add and then I'm going to hit zone save zone file and I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to hit OK it's refreshing the page and scroll down make sure it's there it is 
And just like that, I've made the changes to my domain manager so my personal domain should show up. But I tend to take one more step because whether someone uses www.alisonlowenthal.com or alisonlowenthal.com, I want to ensure that they actually get to the same place. So I'm going to go back to domains and I'm going to go to alisonlowenthal.com. I'm going to actually go to forwarding and I'm going to forward alisonlowenthal.com to www.alisonlowenthal.com. So if someone types in this, I want them to go to here which is actually going to bring them to my Google site. I hit OK and just like that I'm done. And now we're going to check to see if AllisonLowenthal.com is working. We get a domain name error but that's OK because over time we're going to find that sometimes it can take up to two days for this to work but that everything is in order and that it will quickly work. So about 30 minutes have passed since I set this up, so let's see how it works. There we go. So I typed in alisonlowenthal.com and we get alisonlowenthal.com. So just like that, in a few simple steps, we mapped a personal domain name to our Google Sites. So with using Lucky Register, basically the process was the first thing we went into Google Sites, we went to Manage, we went over here to Web Address and we added it. The next thing we did was we verified our site and we did this by going to More and then Manage Site. We scrolled down to the Webmaster Tools we went to visit webmaster tools and we added our site and then when we went to add it we went through a process of when you add a site that it asks you to verify it and it gave us a code we came and entered that code into here and the last step is I went to lucky register which is the company I'm using to launch my domain name I went to down to the DNS manager and I added the very bottom Google so the www and then ghs.google.com and these steps and waited about 30 minutes and just like that personal domain name personal website free easy to use the domain name itself will cost about ten dollars a year so in the next video I'm going to show you actually how to add Google Analytics to your site that will help you to be able to track the users that come to your site thanks